before you install Tone Studio and plug your USB cable in the back of your amplifier, you need to know what firmware you have. For the Boss 50 Mark II, you will hold the tap button and turn the power on. You'll see the indicator lights above the effects knobs blink. Once they stop blinking, you can release it. And if you have the version 2 firmware, you have the green and the red one on. Any other lights on, that means you have version 1. Version 2 was automatically on the amplifiers after January 2020. With your amplifier powered off, locate the USB port on the back of your amplifier. Take your USB cable and plug it in. Now power up your amp. Windows should start installing the drivers automatically if it's Windows 10. So how do you check if the Boss Katana driver is already installed? Well, you can open your control panel and you can see right here, Katana setting the driver. You can click on that and you can set audio buffer sample rates and then revert to uh, default. To uninstall that, you would go to Programs and Features, find it on here, and click it and uninstall. It should automatically download it as soon as you plug it in if you got Windows 10. So the easiest way to find support for your Boss Katana 50 Mark II is to Google Boss Katana 50 Mark II in Google uh, search engine. And you'll have a few results, and this is the one you want to look for right here. Katana 50 Mark II Guitar Amplifier. Click on that one. You're going to come to a page like this. Don't get all click happy and just start clicking stuff up here. We need to go down here to where it says Katana 50 Mark II. You can click on Support. And you'll see the Mark II Owner's Manual. Owner's Manual in Spanish. And using the Boss Tone Studio for Katana Mark II User's Manual. If you click on that, it's going to let you download a file. And it's all going to be the PDF on how to use uh, the Tone Studio for Katana. We're not getting into all that right now. So we're going to back up just a little bit. Back to this screen right here. Now you're going to go over here and you want to click Downloads. Now it's going to give you all sorts of options. This is the firmware if you need to upgrade. This is Tone Studio. That's the actual software you'll be using in your computer. Tone Studio for Mac. The Windows 10 driver if it doesn't already download them automatically. Katana driver version 1 for Windows. That's for pre- Windows 10 Windows, driver for Mac, driver for other Mac, and then more drivers for Mac. We're, we're going to focus on right now is upgrading the Katana Mark II system program. So click on that and it's going to give you all the instructions. It shows you the instructions that I just went over just a few minutes ago and some of the information I also gave you and the bugs that it fixed. What you're going to need to update your Mark II is obviously you're going to need the amp. You're going to need USB cable and the update that you're going to download. Now carefully read through the cautionary information here and then it's going to get to the instructions. It's a good idea to always read through instructions before you start on a project like this. Now it tells you to download and expand the archive file. Then it gives you all the procedures to update. And we're going to go through that. So you're going to scroll to the bottom here. And if you want to click through all or read through all this license agreement, go for it. You don't want to end up a human centipede. And then you click agree and download the file. The download's uh, not very big. It's not even a megabyte. And you'll see the bottom of your screen here when it's ready. Now you click on that and it's going to open the archive. What you want to do is create a folder. Let's go back here. Let's uh, let's just put it under desktop for now. 
and I'm surprised I already don't have one. But I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop called Katana Firmware V2. It's actually version 1.02. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to select both of those. I'm going to extract all and it's going to ask me where do I want to extract those to. And I'm going to browse, I'm going to hit desktop, I'm going to find that Katana firmware folder that I just created and I'm going to hit select folder and I'm going to extract them there. Now that we've uh, got that finished up, we're just going to minimize that and we're going to close that extract file. Then we're going to go back up here and we're going to read through the directions. It says you must rename the extracted files. Never turn off the Katana Mark II amps while you're doing an update. You want to update up just the master volume. That's the master all the way into the tone settings to the right on your control panel. Do not connect it to the computer yet. So you want to adjust the master to minimum. You're going to turn the power switch on while holding the, both the channel one and panel tone settings. Now that you have checked that your drivers are installed and you've extracted the necessary files to perform the upgrade, you need to connect the, the amp to the computer in maintenance mode. I think that's what it's called. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't say. But it's basically, uh, it basically shows up as a disk on Windows. So what you want to do, first you want to Unplug the USB cable from there. You're going to hold the channel 1 and panel button. And then power it on. So channel 1 and panel button. And power it on. You see those lights are blinking. Now you want to connect the USB back to the computer. And your computer should make a noise. Let's go back to the computer. So now they've got three screens open here. I've got the instructions right here, this PC right here, and uh, the Katana firmware where I extracted it. Now I'm going to scroll down here. You're going to see Boss Katana Mark II right there. Open that up. Now you want to open up this file, and you want to copy both of those files right there. You're going to drag and drop them right up here. And it's going to copy them. Do not copy the entire folder. It says right there, do not copy the entire folder. It says, disconnect Boss Katana Mark II from the computer with Windows, just like you're ejecting a flash drive. We're going to come down here, we're going to right click on it, and we're going to hit eject. And it's going to eject. Let's go back down to the amp. Now that you've ejected the Boss Katana from your computer, you disconnect the USB cable. I connected it before I hit record. And then you'll see these lights are lit up and the panel lights blinking. To start the update process, you press a panel button. While the update is in progress, the effects indicators light up. When the update has finished, the effects indicators slowly flash simultaneously. And there we are, it's finished. It says turn the Katana Mark II power off. It says the new system program runs at the next startup. I'm going to power it back on, and it's ready to go. It's in panel mode. You can check different channels. And that's it. Your firmware is all updated. All right, now that your firmware is updated, you've downloaded the file. Let's go back. I said let's go back and let's download Boss Tone Studio for Katana Mark II version 102 for Windows. This is what you're going to use to edit and uh, load your tones for the tone library onto your Boss Katana. So you're going to click on that. It's important that you got Katana Mark II version 102 for Windows to download. It's going to take you over here. You can download the owner's manual again. 
And here they give you all sorts of version history, download and expand uh, the Katana, BTS Katana uh, zip file and how to install. I've already got it installed. However, we're just going to kind of go through the uh, motions here. I'm going to hit download file. And it's, uh, it's about a 65 megabyte download here. It's going to take a minute or so. I'll speed it up. Now that it's finished, we're going to click on it. It's going to open up in a zip file. We're going to click on it again. And you'll see English and Japanese manuals and the actual EXE file. This is the one you want to double click. When you double click it, you can either run or extract all. I'm going to extract all to a place I know. It's going to be in downloads. Actually, we're going we're gonna to put it in Documents. And we're just going to hit Select Folder. And we're going to Extract. Once it finishes extracting, it'll show up in that folder. And here it is. BTS Katana 2 W102. Double click that. Now it's all extracted. And you can click, double click and run. Now you can just hit Next and Install. And it'll take a few seconds to install it's, it's pretty quick and then launch tone studio for katana mark ii we're just going to launch it i think taking his time there we go and if you got your katana turned on and plugged in it might go right to this screen or if you close it up and I've got a quick, oh, I had a quick, it should be right here. Take a second to launch. And it may ask you what um, audio source you want to use. And you'll just select Katana. It's not asking me right now. But let's say I unplug it. And then I'm going to plug it back in and then you can select katana hit OK so this is where you can take all your channels and play with it you've got the librarian this is stuff I've already had loaded in here and you've got tone central where you can download all these different uh, collections of tones. Go back to the librarian and I'm going to load one of mine up here. Let's see if I can find the one I had up there. This is the one I had up here. This is the one I want, Jekyll and Hyde. So I want to load those back on because I've I've totally taken everything off my katana for the purpose of this video to show you. So I want to put these tones back on there. So I'm going to, you don't have to select it, but you can come over here and you click the, the button here. And you can select the live set. And I want to select Jekyll and Hyde. And I want to load it to my katana. And it's going to export these and it's going to write them right over here. It's going to say complete. And there. My tones are back up there. Now, if you just want to substitute some of these tones, you can always uh, just come over here and click and drop it. And it will drop it right in there. Then you can hit right, and you can... Uh, th that's another thing you can do. You can select one of these. Let's say select Crystal Clean and come over here and click right. And it's going to say, where do you want to put it? And you're going to say, I want to put it on, let's say, B channel 2. And I'm going to hit right. Come back over here. It's there. But that's for a whole other setting. I just wanted to basically show you how to update your firmware and install Boss Tone Studio and where to get those links. I'll provide links to this down below to the support channel of Boss's website where you can click on them and go directly there to the uh, downloads page of, for the Mark 250. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped out a lot.